Hello everybody, Jim here. Well, I just saw the movie Pete's Dragon, the recent Disney remake of the 1977 movie. And I will say that this movie was not only good, but a movie that was better than the original. And it's rare for a remake to be objectively better than the original, but this one definitely was. It's a very, very different movie than the original, though. It uh, takes the basic concept of a boy and his pet dragon that can turn invisible, but beyond that, almost bears nothing in common with the original movie. This, this one's not a musical. It doesn't redo any of the original songs. It doesn't have, like, the weird corny slapstick. So this is, this is a completely different flick that's basically just a boy and his dog story. Basically, it's about a boy who encounters this kind of puppy-like dragon in the forest and kind of befriends him. And uh, I really like the dragon's design here. We've kind of used to, like, smog-like dragons, or, or right, usually a reptilian. This one, this dragon basically looks like a mammal, not a reptile. He's, he has, like, a puppy face. He's all furry. The character is really, really well done. He's uh, a, very cute to look at, behaves like a dog, and very... Appealing. It's very appealing to spend time with this creature. This is a very well-realized animal. Doesn't speak or anything like that. Really just kind of relies on the attraction we would have to an adorable animal. Alright, and the bond with him and the boy is all very cute. Alright, supposedly this movie set in 1982, and it kind of has a... E.T.-like feel to it, kind of, uh, boy befriends this odd creature he finds, tries to keep it hidden, what have you, eventually discovered. You've kind of seen this formula before, and, uh, that's, that's a bit of the, the problem with this movie, that would be the biggest negative, is nothing about this movie feels all that deep, all that original, it feels like you've seen this kind of story before, but that's fine, alright? For a family adventure movie to just be a simplistic little story about a boy and his dog really is all you need. I mean, I've seen too many movies this year that have been a train wreck because they tried to set up uh, a thousand plot lines to try to set up future movies and it ends up just being a jumbled mess. So I really appreciate just going to the movies and seeing a nice, self-contained, little, simple story. Overall, this is a, this is a movie that if you have kids... You can reasonably take them to see, and I think they will have a good time. And even if you don't, it's still a cute flick. Overall, um, Disney's been on a really nice streak when it comes to these live-action remakes. This came out only a few months after The Jungle Book, which also re remade a decades-old story that they already did, and did it a little bit better than the original movie did. So, overall, Disney seems to be dominating this year. Like, if... If Rogue One turns out to be good, which I really hope it does, then Disney will have just owned 2016. It's that simple. But that remains to be seen. Well, hope you guys have a great summer, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.